What's up, y'all? What's up? This is the new Anything Goes podcast. Anything goes. And I do mean anything goes. Yes, sir. I'm one of your hosts. My name is Big Ski. Big Ski, baby. The other host is Dusty Joe. Dusty Joe. And we got house. a special co-host from time to time, my boy Neil Ray, that'll be tapping in Neil with us. Ray. Man, we talking about it all. So welcome to the show, baby. Yo, 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 what up, y'all? This your boy, Big Ski. This your boy, I forgot my name, but happy Sunday, people. Come on, Joe, man. Joe Ray, man, we here. <laughs> hey, man, we got a special guest in the house, bro. Hey, uh, why don't you tell me what your name is, bro? Yo, what's good, man? It's Just Listen. Used to be known as Prince Casanova, but you know what it is. I had to switch it up on the one time. Just hey, listen in just the listen. building. Yeah. Welcome, welcome back. And one time for me, Prince Casanova in the building. Prince sir. Casanova in the building. You know just what I'm saying? Just listen. Just listen. It's all the same person. All the same. All the same. That's a different vibe now. I'm, 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 make, I'm making new things happen for me. For me. You feel me? Being inspired by new musicians, new music. That's why you feel me. This style finna come crazy. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, welcome back. Well, Good, yes, good, good to have you back in the studio. Feel good to be back. Most definitely, bro, man. what you been up to, man? Shit, bro. Uh, being a father first. You feel hey, me? Hey, man, I just met the family, man. You got oh, yeah. a beautiful family. Thanks, man. I am not bullshit. Appreciate it. Appreciate Daughter it. is just adorable as shit. You, man. you know, it's a beautiful well, family, bro. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you know, being a father, you know, yeah. taking care of them. Um, being the best best father I can to them, teaching. You know, uh, they both they both actually are talented, bro. They both yeah. they both love doing music, bro. So really, like, man, mm-hmm. what my son freestyle beatbox. Man, man he's so bit. young, though. Man, he really? only four. Really? Like, he only four. Wow. My daughter's into singing and stuff, so yeah. but she also trying to get into the instruments as well. So okay. it's like, oh, yeah, if I just tune in, you know, you know, get their motors going, yeah. shit, on, we might have something. Yes, with sir. the instruments, did you play any instruments in, in yeah, school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, really, I just play in the school. Oh, I play, like, the drums. Church, uh-huh. it was like drums. But I just picked up the piano. My dad played piano, so... You got a keyboard. Okay. Okay. You know I mean, I was just play it like yeah, that part, man. man. That, yeah, yeah. That's what that's where the kids getting it from, yep, man. Yep, yep. The jeans run, boy. Heck yeah, heck man. yeah. Hey, that's dope, though, bro. Yeah, heck yeah. Uh, I've been in the music for a long time, and I kind of wish that my kids would have kind of picked it up a little bit. My son could care less. You know what I'm saying? He want to run track. He can care less. <laughs> Oh, uh, my daughter. Hey, is, oh, it's hey man. And right now, man, hey, I'm I'm one of the proudest fathers ever, bro. Uh, my son went to Fresno and won a state title. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Ahead. He's number one in the state of California for 300 hurdles. He Dang. just signed the other day to Cal Poly Pomona, so he getting ready oh, to go to college at Cal Poly Pomona. Yes. Yeah, they so, fast. Hey, they and fast. it's crazy too because the kid that he beat. In the state meet, hmm. just sign to them too. Ooh. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? So the top two people in the state of California are going to uh, Cal Poly Pomona oh, together. Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they about to beast out. Sounds yeah. like it sounds like it's gonna be a competition amongst oh, it's gonna amongst be. Amongst so it's gonna be. Man, not the, man. It's gonna That's be. That's how it's supposed to be though. You need True. that. You need if you that. beat me at the state meet, then you gotta see me again. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you got yeah, to. Yeah, My son gonna be racing this cat probably the whole four years. <laughs> like this <is> bullshit. <laughs> nigga, I'm tired. And more. Yeah. And more. And more. Yeah. Probably go Olympics too. Come on, man. On some real, bro. That'd be a story to tell. Yeah. Straight up. Man, man. Speaking of stories, man. Hey, I wanted to ask you, being on stage, have you ever had a real scary moment performing? Mm. Mm. Or have something went on and it kind of got your attention and kind of got you nervous a little mm. bit? Uh, Yeah, man, you know, I was performing, um, I was performing at Howard, but you know what, it, it actually wasn't my set, you know what I mean? I was just on stage as, you know, because I was also featured on one of the songs or whatnot, but... You know, our song did well, but the crowd did something to the other artists that kind of made me, like, wake up to some mm. shit. Okay. Um, okay. And, man, I swear to God, you seen, like, smiles, but then you just see, like, this dude, like, he just stood out like a light. Like, I just looked at it. Was okay. At, it was for uh, uh, Howard University, mm-hmm. right? So we performing for Howard University. Uh, uh, Gucci is the headline, you know what I mean? It was just uh, us and on. then Gucci. So, um, yeah, man, you just see this dude, and he just, like, Boo. He just on some weird wow. shit. Oh my That's god! Crazy, I was like, damn. <laughs> wow. But, 
you know, I kind of took it like, all right, well, this ain't my show. But at the same time, nigga, I'm on the stage, too. So that part, yeah, if yeah. he getting booed, that mean I'm getting booed, oh, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, bro, I've been you know there, saying? bro. It wasn't yeah, really. That was like, it was like scary. But, you know, at the end, then we kind of kind of kept going. But then, like, you know, it was other moments where it's kind of shaky. Like, uh, I performed at, um, I performed at, um, it's a known, it's a known, it's in uh, Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. Damn, what's the name of the venue? Okay, observatory. Okay. Right, so I'm performing at observatory, and then, um, man, we had, like, one of the nights. We, we usually always perform there, but we had a tough crowd. Mm. Right? Oh, really? We had a tough crowd, man. Like, man, it was a little shaky because it was just like they was not – they was not feeling. They was just talking. So what did y'all do, bro? What did y'all do to get them back energized? So, so what, what happened was the DJ, we just, you know, stopped the music. And now I'm talking to him. Like, I'm like, hey, if y'all can't be boring as fuck, then get your ass in the back. I'm like, yeah. everybody who came to have fun, come to the front. Huh. I was like, so we can turn up. Man. Other it than work? that, if, if you're going to be picky, yeah. take your picky ass to the back. Did it work? And then the song mm -hmm. we got. The next song is that type of energy. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So it just hit, boom. So you know, and then uh, they just, you know, that we we got a part where we pause and we tell the crowd to say something. So after that, I kind of picked that. Oh, these niggas ain't playing. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. But that first first song, they was they was like, mm. bro. You know what I mean? Because they don't know who we are. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Yeah. But once you make them feel you, and then they see they start seeing a performance, shit change. It do. I mean, so on, the jitters man. get out the way. But at first, it's like, what the fuck I'm gonna say to these people? Yeah. Like. Hey, mm -hmm. I did a hostile ass crowd before, bro. When I was young, mm -hmm. uh, we had a big ass crew like a No Limit. It was a gang of us and shit. So uh, we went right behind some dudes in Watts that yeah, was yeah, from yeah. Watts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, they they ripped it. They they killed the show. We come on right behind them. Mm -hmm. I go first. Mm -hmm. They like, yeah, okay, nigga, you on thin ice. I'm yelling Compton. We in watch. I got the bitches. Out, well, I got the women out there like, this watch, nigga. I'm like, ooh, okay. I'm, I'm steady ooh. going, though. You know what I'm saying? They like, Jeez. okay. And so the second song come on, I bring one of my homies on from mm -hmm. watch. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? We rocking this motherfucker. They like, okay, this nigga, all right. He all right. The homie to come on behind me. Now I'm still on stage, mind you. Yeah. They boo this nigga and close the curtains on him. What the yes. fuck? That's I crazy. said, oh my God. They was like, who let this nigga on the stage? Hey, yeah. Close the curtains, bro. I'm like, how the... and then I seen the video of this like, shit, bro. Damn. I seen the video That's of it. Wild, the first bro. time I seen the video, the homie is on there. The second time, he's half on there. The third time, he ain't even in the video oh. no more. They done took, they done edited him out of the Holy video. Shit. I said, ooh, wait. What they do, like that fucking old fucking game the show old, with the hook? Apollo, hey, Apollo, yeah. Yeah. Bro, but I'm like, I ain't never faced that when they closed the curtain on the motherfucker. Yeah. They, if they had tomatoes, we all got fucked up. Damn. I had on a white sweatsuit, they wouldn't have went well. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, That's shit crazy. happens, though. That's crazy. But you get hostile crowds sometimes. Now, let me ask you this. Yeah. Have you ever been in a venue, you rocking it? Yeah. And everybody singing with you? Yeah, hell yeah. How did that That's make dope. you feel? It felt good. Hey. I actually got I actually got clips of it. I think I posted on my Instagram. You know, it's one part when we just got the music. Like, we said, who the fuck you speaking on? And then it's like, not me. Right? Yeah, That's yeah. the part from the talk. So we just cut it. And they just, not me. Yeah. Who the fuck you speaking on? And yeah. we just cut it. Like, not uh -huh. me. I was like, well, they really hit yeah. this shit. Mm. But, that, you know, we've been, like I said, we've been performing there. Uh, me and this uh, artist named Cash 100. Mm -hmm. We've been performing there for for a minute. So, mm. you feel me? So, they starting to get familiar with us. Yeah. So, they love that shark. So, so now they, it's they like, actually coming to see y'all. Like, get down, okay. Yeah, now it's like, oh, okay, yeah. Hey, man, oh, that got to be a hell of a feeling yeah, right there. Yeah, that, yeah. That's one of them feelings that had to have you like, damn, I'm here. Hell, yeah. You well, know what I'm saying? Like, shit, but, you know, it's it's... I've been there. I've I've done it before. Like, you know what I mean? Shit, man. I didn't had crowds of like all Japanese culture yeah. and man, yeah. that's even different. The only difference is, you know, they just gonna have fun. Yeah. yeah. True. They like really just having fun. Like, yeah. Versus like, man, you go to like a like I perform with RJ and you know he got he got a mixture crowd. Mm -hmm. Man, you gotta come like gangster or something at first, right, just to even like catch their attention. Break the ice. You be yourself, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. So mm -hmm. it's like it's one, always one of those moments. But like, shit, hell yeah, like. But I've I've done it before. You feel me? Like, Got you. it's it's still like a ner not a nervous, but it's like I'm ready. Like I'm just mm. let's just hurt now. I'm like, like at the like point like, let's hurry up and get this shit over with. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like like a little bit of anxiety. Yeah, exactly. 
small amount though, like mm-hmm. very small. And then it's like, as soon as, you, as soon as I grab it, to grab that mic, it's, it's mm. over. I hear that voice come come through the speakers. Oh yeah, they can hear me. Oh yeah, it's yeah, on. it's going like, down. Now it's, it's time on. to show out. Yeah, yeah. you feel me? Okay. Come on, man. And I like I like having fun. I like talking. I like looking at girls, telling like mm-hmm. making them feel like you know they important. Not yeah, like yeah. that, but you know like yeah, I, got you. I be doing all all that just to really entertain. Cause but that's key can't though, be boring, man. You know? Keeping the crowd involved, yeah. you feel me? Like yo, that's some real, yo, like you said, even talking to them. Like, me, I be like, yo, I be like, all the other girls be quiet. They be like, oh, <laughs> you know everybody can holler. <laughs> feel me? Hell yeah. Be like, hey, you hey. should be quiet. And then I'll pause it. I'll pause it. I have, hold on, hey. Hold on, that girl knows she was ugly, bro. I don't know yeah, why. That I'm, gonna point, that I'm not gonna point you out, but you yeah, know what? Bro. I get it. Everybody's a bad bitch, so let's turn it up. Yeah, okay, hey, okay. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. But that I'm... nigga in the back, man, what the fuck is you doing? <laughs> okay, nigga, I said, right? bitch, yeah. what did you do it? What did you do it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's real shit, though. Heck yeah, man. It's fun, bro. Like I said, I've been doing this for some years, so now it's nothing. It's nothing. Like I'm waiting, to see, I'm waiting to see this crowd of ten thousand, man. Yeah, I'm okay. waiting to see that. Hey, That's hey, a blessing, talk to, man. Talk to us about that ten thousand. Oh yeah, so I got a performance coming up at the uh, Southeast LA Arts Festival. Uh-huh. Uh huh. That's gonna be on July 29th. So if y'all want to pull up on me, go ahead and pull up on me. That's July right. 29th. Uh, I think it started at like three o'clock. It's like a big festival. It don't yeah. end to like I think like two or something like that. So okay. yeah, it's going down, man. It's gonna it's gonna be lit. Uh, on, ten thousand plus people. Probably like one of the biggest, biggest events. I actually it is the biggest event. I, I know you're had. excited about it. Heck yeah, you, man. man. I'm excited. Shit, just, just blessed. Yeah, bl- part, blessed, is word, mm-hmm. blessed, blessed is the word, bro. Blessed is the word. Yeah, man. You feel me? But very, man, very blessed. Excited and just keep going. You feel me? Keep pushing. Okay. But yeah, heck yeah. That's True. coming up. Make sure y'all be there. Let's go. I can, I, can, I can bring y'all with me, actually. So if okay. you want to go, say say less. You ain't got any, any got to pay. Just hit me That's up. That's love right there. Yeah. Come on. Hey, we hey, would you fuck around and think about that when they try yeah, to make man. that happen, man? Yep, yep. It's Come gonna on, be lit. Man. And I, I checked how it was, like you know, uh, in the past years, and man, it's always lit. It's always packed. Yeah. Family, you know, family event. It's like okay. a family event or whatnot too. That part. But like, yeah, heck yeah, man. It be, it be lit. So if you got kids, bring your kids too. Okay, hey, that's gonna no, be smooth. Man, I got music for them too. That's what I was gonna ask, man. You gonna come with some uh, some hard hitters, or you gonna come with some smooth? Nah, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna come with I'm gonna come with. I got one hard hitter. Come on. And uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna uh, showcase it today. I Let's think go. on the radio. So come on. So I'm okay. coming with that track, and then uh, I got a little bit of uh, R&B. And I got a live band that's gonna be with me this time. That's gonna be dope, right yeah. there. Okay. Come on. So man. I got a drummer. Uh, hey. My bassist. He actually out of town right now, and. Um, where he's at, I don't want to say he's not in Norway. He's in uh, Italy, mm. so he's in Italy right now. But he's he on his way back, so he'll be back. But heck yeah, man, yeah, we gonna rock it. Let's go. That so should I, be yeah, dope. It's gonna be lit. On, it's gonna be lit. Just listen. Heck yeah, man, come with some new vibes, man. Just hey, listen. where can they find you at, bro? You can find me on Instagram at Just Listen. That's J S T L S Z N. You can even Google that, and it's gonna pop up everything. That's like, what's on. up. It's gonna just send you everything from the music sites. You might see some features with Prince Casanova. Don't trip. That's just that's just another alter ego of Come on. Yeah. the okay. artist. Yep. Okay. Okay. Y'all yeah, okay. tap in, man. Yeah, heck yeah, tap in. Come on. Tap in. I actually, I actually haven't released nothing for Just Listen. Really? But I've been having them in features. So I've been gotcha. doing tracks with a lot of artists. Yeah. So, you know, the name is out there and they're like, who is it? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then now I'm going to actually showcase a song. Yeah, really cool. Okay. okay. Then I got that's an album crazy. coming out called Me Versus Me. I mean, that's oh, the okay. That, that, I like the title on that. Though. Me versus Me. Yeah, yeah, I, got, I got the cover for it and everything. I should. I should. Uh, so is it a more. bad you and a a, a good you or it's, it's like describe um, it? So it's basically gonna be about uh, yeah, it's similar. Like it's a good side and a bad side. You know what I mean? Just like I got like I'm finna I'm finna get you know tattoos done. So this side is gonna be like music, everything that's happy, you know, money, mm-hmm. whatever made me, you know, happy. Yeah. Money might be on both sides, actually. Yeah, come so, on. You know what I mean? But this talking to me, all like, bad things, evil, you mm-hmm. know, or, like, you know, the bad stuff. So, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, it's, it's a lot of, it's that's a lot good. that's going to come with it, you know what I okay. mean? Okay. So, heck, yeah. So, the next time y'all see him on this, sh- on this show, I might, yeah. I might be, come on. you know what I mean? All blasted up. All right, okay. Well, shit, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. looking forward to that, bro. Yeah, but it, it's going to be, like, a lot of real events. So, like, I talk uh-huh. about, like, issues I went through with, like, you know, family, friends, uh, jobs, whatever. Like, you know what I mean? I incorporate a lot of things. 
Uh, it's different. Life sound now, you know. Yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna come different. It's gonna sound like a movie. Uh -huh. you know what okay. I mean? It's gonna sound like okay. a movie. That me, should be real. Me versus me. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have both. Both alter egos. It's gonna, it's gonna have. Prince Casanova gonna be in there, of course, because you yeah. know now I got a certain sound for just listen. So just listen, which is who I am now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's coming with some some shit. Okay. Man. That's gonna be yeah. fire. Shit, what, man. bro? Just the thoughts, bro. For real. You know. For real. That's what I was going to ask you too, man. I got some great singers on there, man. Like, I got some known artists on there. I ain't even yeah. going to tell you who it is. Nah, but let it be a surprise. Way. That part, yeah, yeah let that be a surprise. surprise. But Again. what would your what would your uh, your dream project be like on some? You know, if you could have any other artist or any other producer that you Shit. you know been wanting to have My collab dream with. Project, man. I need twelve tracks, right? Come on. All right, first track, man. It's got to be a cold intro. I need Kanye come West on, to man. produce that first. Hey, intro. hey oh, come on. Okay. I need because you know what Kanye hey. West we have some crazy. He do. Man. So this shit is crazy. Kanye West, you feel me? Come on. And then I want I want like the next tracks to be featured with like feet, uh, Future. Come on. Me and him will blend well. I want T Pain because I want I want some classic sound like his sound. People be sleeping with mine. You know man. what I mean? Yeah. And then I will go uh, Big Sean. I'm going yeah. Drizzy, of yeah. course. I'm going Janae. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, and I'll pick two more artists because you feel me? It, it, it's the dream project yeah. involved. So many. Dream project. Dream, yeah. you know what I mean? Involved so many. So I need some of the greatest writers. Like I need Beyonce on that there. Part. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. I would do okay. a song with Jay Z. Most yeah. definitely. You know what I mean? Because this whole telling stories, man. His whole style, even him. Like it's, yeah. it's a lot that going in dream project. Like, True. Feel me? As far as artists that's here, like that's here living. If, it, if we can go back and bring people from the dead, oh, yeah. Man, swear. Come on, bro. Michael will be first, of course. That part. Man. I'm going Come James on. Brown next. You know. It's, I, I, I like the James I'm, Brown will be what? title. Speaking some real, man. What? James on, Brown, man. It, it'll kind of give you a mystical type feeling. Facts. But I'm you going know, James man. Brown mixed with Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack, and I'm Jeez. putting all three of those oh, on one shit. track. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that would be, that would be cold. And that's all I want to try. I'm just going to blend those how it is. Yeah, you know that mean? would be dope. Heck just yeah. the styles and, and everything. I'm going Timberland, and I'll go get, uh, what's her name? Uh, Lady Gaga. Yeah. Right? And Billie Eilish. Billie Irish. Yeah. Am yeah. I saying that right? And, Billie, and oh, yeah, her. Billie Irish. Right? Ooh, Something ooh. like that. Something the green hair, like, the, the, the broad, the Cosmo, the, 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 the green hair yeah, broad. Yeah. She cold. Like her and my son, I don't know if you ever heard of him, but put them together. Yes. Yeah. Come on, man. All in one track. And yeah, I'm just filming. That, like, be crazy. that would be a me. dream project. Uh, right I got there. a lot of like. I'm like, that's a that's a lot. Like, feel me? That'll probably cost about. That's like, having you know, the ear to four hundred billion. My, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna no, no cost. Yeah. Really? My, my my question is, um, have you ever like participated in um, like a competition, a, a music music competition? Yeah, yeah. Um, have you ever won? Yeah, I only won two. So okay. I've entered many competitions uh, online, just like submitting stuff, mm -hmm. but also like being there physically, you know. Um, and uh, three were at my in my college, uh, LA Film. Shout out Los Angeles Film School. You know, uh, they used to have like beat battles. Mm. You know, so we, you know. We go ahead, let's go at it. Most of the time, I felt like I was being hated on. Though. Oh, okay. But, you know, oh, that like, happens, bro. Yeah, yeah it happens. It, and it did. You know, uh, at one point, I had a group. Not I had a group. But I was in a little clique, and we called each other uh, Lost Gold. Mm. And Lost Gold was just the talk of the school. You know, a bunch of engineers and producers mm. who was really doing this shit top mm -hmm. of the class. Got gotcha. you. You know what I mean? And they they just they would hate on a lot of stuff. Like we got dope artists, we got yeah. dope engineers, and we all produce. So it was easy to become a team. We got a marketing manager. We know, mm. you know, we got everything. We y'all know what y'all doing, man. You know, so we, was, you know, people was coming to us like, nah, y'all need to just go to them, like talk to them. Like, yeah. we got mm -hmm. connections to every studio in the school. And stay over time, stay overnight, knowing this clothes, we mm. still there. Like, oh shit, you know okay. what I mean? I probably shouldn't have said that, but <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like, heck yeah, man. Uh, shoot, like, yeah, they had these competitions and. You know, first first times I got hated on. That's how I feel. The third time it was just like I'm finna. I ain't, I ain't gonna have no choice. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm finna. Hey, so I got I a question trade. for you. When you doing a song, bro, where do you find peace? Where's your favorite place to write a song at? Um, my favorite song to write a song at will actually be in the studio. Mm. I'm more inspired to be in. So a lot of people like going outside and stuff. That works. You yeah. know what I mean? That mm -hmm. works. Like you can go outside. You can go to the beaches and all yeah. that, but me, I'm more of a person that 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 enjoys just looking in the studio, yeah, and just knowing like I'm finna create in this one. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. finna sit here and write, 
I listen to a lot of beats. Sometimes while I'm listening to the beat, whether you know it's a rock beat or whatever, the yeah. type of mood, man, I go to YouTube, put on the type of mood. If it's something that's fire, I'm putting up a fireplace with a nice like mm -hmm. mansion, it's just to visualize that too with the music, like you know. And I'm sitting there writing. Sometimes I get ideas from that, just like okay, okay. I'm gonna write about one day being in a mansion with with a with a big ass fucking. Uh, Chimney coming out, some shit, yeah. you know, on, like man. the okay. fireplace lit, just some shit, like you know. All right, I got one other question though. When you getting ready to perform, do you got any rituals that you go through before you get out on the mic? You know, it's crazy. I don't know if it's a ritual, but before I gotta perform, I either gotta take a dump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. I don't know why. Like I'm either I either gotta take a dump, bro, yeah. or like I gotta throw up. Really? Like, and... Hey, that's some nerves. Yeah, I ain't never heard I gotta I mean? go take a shit like, hey, hold on, bro, man. Look, yeah, what? Bro. Like, Nigga, what, I man. got how much time? Hold Everybody on. I done performed with or been on tour with would tell you, like, yeah. I'd be like, yo, I gotta use the bathroom. Like, <laughs> Come on, yo, like, how much time we got? All right, yeah. that's good. I'm in there. It's gone. I don't gotta use it. I, I can't hold it, bro. Yeah. So, either we just start five minutes later or ten minutes later or y'all yeah. just go ahead and let me go now. Sometimes give me a sign before. I'll be back, yeah. Like, I'm like, but nah, I don't know. That's crazy, because... Even when it's, when I got to throw up, when I feel like I got to throw up, like, I be like, it be weird because I be ready. I be ready the whole time. Then they be like, yeah, uh, 15 minutes to the show. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, that's the you butterflies. Start feeling tight, you yeah, know? Yeah, man. But it's like, it's like an anxious more so. But then it's like, I get this, like, feeling in my, yeah. like a cotton mouth. So I, I either, like. Go get some water to prevent it, like, throwing up. Because uh -huh. it's like, you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's jitters a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I let it loose. Or I just get that water and just hopefully it don't come up. And by, Damn. But by the time I grab that mic, like I said, that shit just disappeared. Hey, but you know what? Quite a few artists is like that, including myself. Hmm. When I'm at a show, I have butterflies, my stomach in knots. I'm pacing the floor. Huh. As soon as I get on the stage, I'm like, fuck, it's going to happen. I got the mic in my hand. Yeah. I move back and forth, and then I start talking on the mic. Everything go. Yeah. Everything disappear, and I'm ready. Get it right away. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, but leading up to it, hands sweating and shit. I'm like, the yeah. fuck? I'm like, this ain't right. They like, hey, you want something to drink? Hell no. Nah. No. Nope. And one of the reasons why I really don't drink much or right before a show is I had a show in Lancaster before, mm -hmm. and I was pissy drunk, bro. I'm up there mm -hmm. pissy drunk. We doing a live show. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing there but the hook. We doing a live show. I get up there, run through the first verse. I'm killing it. <laughs> get to the second verse and draw a blank. Damn. I'm like, whoa. Jeez, I man. couldn't think of shit. My wife in the front, she was like, all you had to do was look at me. I had you. I'm saying a song. I'm, I'm fucked up. So we had already planned to man. give out CDs and throw money in the car. That's at the time when people was throwing money and shit. Yeah. So we got these stack of ones and shit in our pockets. I immediately go to the pocket and start throwing ones. The homie see me, grab CDs, start tossing CDs. We get to the uh, third verse. I did the first verse over. I said, oh, ain't this a bitch. Uh, Fuck the song. Oh, my <laughs> my gosh. wife was like, what the oh fuck did you gosh. do to my favorite song? And nobody knew but me, yeah. my wife, and the homie. Nobody oh else gosh. knew, but I'm doing the first verse all wow. over. I said, I can't believe. The owner that was like, okay. I love y'all. When y'all want to come back? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But That's the people we had though. with us, they started they a fight. Come and on, the man. owner was like, y'all too rowdy. We can't have you back. Oh, I said, y'all fucked up my shot. That's what it be, man. You know what I'm saying? So That's sometimes right. you got to be careful who you invite yeah. to shows or who you man, bring yeah. with you. Yeah, I've seen a lot of artists I used to perform with that they used to come deep, but now, like, the more I see them and I was seeing them, you know, we performing, I'll be like, man, they getting less and less of people. They like, man, nah, fuck that shit. Yeah. Like, straight hey, up. But right now, man, we got a video, man. And I would like to play a video of the week, man, from Just Listen. Hey, Joe, are we ready for that video, bro? Oh, yeah. Baby, let's party. Oh, shit. 
it. We turning up, so take notes. Got billions and more. Tricking him with the coat. If anybody got a problem, you gotta go. Baby, let's party. Get wasted. No juice on the side. No chasing. Baby, get naughty. Bring your best friends too, so they can fuck with us. Baby, let's party. Get wasted. No juice on the side. No chasing. Baby, get naughty. Bring your best friends too, so they can fuck with us. It's true, that party people, we the new school, two life crew Party bus yeah. full of chicks about to come through Grown bitches on their way, they can turn up too I'm about to drink till I pass out, I'm about to act out Grabbing all the cakes of every chick with they ass out Baby getting wild when she shake it Bring her over, I'ma see if she can take dick Take hits from a few blunts, even though a nigga don't smoke Might as well blow, cause another nigga turned up Everybody got they cut, we done drank so much Our security drunk, so let's party Let's party, if you're a freak, let me see you get naughty Got a few cups full of Hennessy and Lee We gon' turn this shit up, too crucial at the scene like Baby, it. let's party Get wasted, no juice on the side, no chasing Baby, get naughty Bring your best friends too so they can fuck with us Baby, let's party Get wasted, no juice on the side, no chasing Baby, get naughty Bring your best friends too so they can fuck with us Baby, let's party Dope as a motherfucker, bro. Yeah, man. I shot that actually at my house, too. Really? Yo. Hey, that shit was dope as a motherfucker, yeah, man. Everything. Felt like I wanted everything. to party. I'm like, shit. <laughs> hey, also, shameless plug, man. Y'all can catch that on Big Ski Radio every Thursday, man. Come yes, on, sir. Man. Just listen in the building. Yes, sir. Hey, why don't you tell them where they can find you at again, bro? Yo, you can find me on Instagram at just listen. That's J S T L S Z N. That's J S T L S Z N. Just listen. Hey, I wanted to Super ask you dope. too, bro. When is your uh, next project gonna drop, man? Say it again. When is your next project gonna drop? You said drop? what? When is your nah, next project <laughs> gonna drop, bro? He we all, said. I said we all wanna he know. He said, "Hey, come on." <laughs> hey, that part, we all wanna know, bro. All right, so the next project is expected to come out. Gotcha. Actually, um, for Halloween, you know, that's come actually on. the okay. next project. Gotcha. But uh, me versus me is the one I'm really gonna be focusing on. You know, uh, the. The project that's gonna come out in October, of course, yeah. it's gonna be like Halloween. It's gonna have, you know, it's gonna be an EP, so it's yeah. not gonna be that many songs. Okay. Probably about like six, seven tracks. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna Let's be some go. Halloween shit. So if you want to okay. check that out, go ahead. You know, Man. people know I always release one every year, so you yeah. know that actually be the next one. But the, the the album, as far as album go, like real album, um, me versus me, gotcha. that's four months from now, which would be you know, November. Okay. So it's, it's happening right after. You know yeah. what I mean? So Halloween project is gonna be something like here you go. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm looking like forward to it. So, bro. so on a scale of uh, one to nine thousand four hundred and one. Oh shit! <laughs> how good is your? Hey, you got a Bieber? Oh shit! Yeah. 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 How, how good is your new project gonna be compared to your last one? Mm. Uh man, it's gonna be. It's gonna. It's damn. What was the last number? <laughs> nine thousand four hundred and one. Four hundred and one, man. It's, it's gonna be. It's Yo, gonna be about job. that. It's gonna Come be. On. It's gonna be. It's gonna be better. Cause I always gotta compete with my last album, Let's go. which is which is kind of a hard thing for artists. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like I don't know if a lot of artists will agree, but you know what I mean. The next project is like if that one was super, then you either want that one to be like just as or yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. higher. You know what I mean? So that's you know. interesting you say that, bro. I've done a lot of songs. But it's one song that I'm always chasing. I got a song called Love is a Battlefield. Huh. Might not have been the best of recording, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. that was like one of my dopest songs to me. And I'm always chasing that song. Trying to create that same vibe, that same feeling, the same something that I felt right. on the inside when I hear it. Because you're trying to like, you got to, you feel me? It's hard yeah, trying to compete with it. exactly that feeling or something like it gave you. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? That's the but But to answer... Joe, question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, it's gonna be on Infinity, man, because it's gonna definitely top it. Gonna be gonna like I said, this one, this one, I'm putting time in, I'm yeah. putting effort, and I'm going like live band. So yeah. I'm trying to reach all ears. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Okay. My demographic from 100 years old to, to 
four year olds because my kids dance to my music. You yeah, know what I mean? To so probably less than that, two year olds, three year olds. Okay. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to have that wide range. Mm. You know what I mean? Of oh, all okay. colors. Okay. Yep. Okay. I feel that. Yep. I like that. Yes, hey, sir. bro, if you had a chance to rock any stage in America, hmm. what stage would that be, bro? And why? You know what? I always, I always say, man, I want to perform at the Madison Square Garden. Mm. You know what I mean? But there's so many like now, I didn't, cause I didn't see so much. But you know yeah. what? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just say Madison Square Garden. Okay. Cause I always wanted to perform there. You know, Staples yeah. Center or Crypto Arena was another one. But like, mm-hmm. I wanna, I wanna sell out the Madison Square Garden. I wanna, yeah, I wanna. That would be that. big, man, bro. You know bro. what I mean? You that know, would be big. And it's other stages, of course, though. Yeah. But, but yeah. that's what I'm like. You got at least one you always thought about. Like, man, I think I can rock the shit out of that one. Madison Square Garden, man. It's like, it's like, man, it's, they just set up so nice. Like, yeah. the venue, you know what I mean? It's like right there at that center. Like, we lit. Like, uh, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? We lit. It like, would definitely be a party in that motherfucker. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Ooh, if, if, I just can't. I can't wait. One day, coming. One, one more thing. If, if you can have... What's one thing you would want your fans to remember about you after you've done your performance after you? Um, how engaged I am with just making sure that they're having fun just as much as I am. You know okay. what I mean? Like, I want them to remember me for, like, yo, he was actually that dude that actually was, like, fucking with his fans yeah. more so than just happy to see him or just happy bro, to be there. When like, you I'm interact like, Yo, with him, bro, it's so like much more Like a normal person. person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a normal. How, how, would, how would you deal with your, like, say, um, what would you say? The, the flip of the coin. What would you do? How would you deal with fans that if you're you're performing and you're looking down and they look tired or bored? or How, how would you deal with something like that? I just approach them. I, I stop the music, man. You yeah, know bro. what I mean? Because I want, I want you to hear me when I'm talking, you know? Mm-hmm. Music might be too loud, but I hear him. And, you know, I, I talk to him, yo, what's good? You you not having fun? Mm-hmm. Like, okay. what's, what's stopping you from having fun? Yeah. Here, here go the mic so everybody can hear you. Now, yeah. if you say some bullshit, yeah. you know what I mean? But all right, let's get the fuck out of my show. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, real shit. Mean? That's real, real shit. Here. I'm, just trying to see, I'm just trying to see positive energy. Yeah. I'm, not a, I'm not an asshole. I'm not a dick. But you at my show, just like, fuck it. I just came here because she here. Yo, you know what I mean? Gotcha. Or, you know, and vice versa. It's like, yeah, man, go to the back yeah. or something. Like, just go stand outside, smoke a cigarette or something. Who knows? Like, you know, but uh, at the same time, if it's something like, I'm just waiting on my song and you ain't did it yet. Uh, that oh, could be big. That could be another one, man. That like, could be big. It's man. like, oh, all right, hey, fuck the playlist. Play this song. Oh, okay. Song, and then, you man. feel me? In that reaction, I would hope that from, you know, That'd be a good one, though, if if a fan say some shit like that. That'd be a good one. Yeah, you know what I mean? And I bet you it's somebody out there that's like that. Like, man, I'm waiting for my soul. I got all this energy for that one. They like, I love shit is okay, but I I, I drove two hours for that song. Yo, you know what? You know what? And you know what? That's crazy. I was just that fan. I was at an Erica Badu concert not so long ago. Mm. You know, she was performing at Crypto Arena. And you know, I'm happy to sing all the other songs, but the whole time I'm yeah. screaming, You better call Tyrone. On, now, and she did not sing. Oh, oh. as a fan, bro. Man, it, man I'm sure a lot of other people felt the same minute, way. Man, like, and if on. she would have did it, y'all would have lit up. Man. Whole everybody. Everybody know the song, everybody. men and women. Man. She had you know some hits, saying? you know what I mean? Yeah. True. Did, but, but that's like, one she slept that's on. That's the one she slept on. That's the one. You know one. what, bro? That's Matter of fact, any artist, any genre of music, What's your favorite song in the world, bro? Everybody got that one song. For me, it's uh, uh, Tupac. And why? And why? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> but I was going to say, for me, it's Tupac, <laughs> So Many on. Tears. When I oh, come yeah. on, I, I zone out, and I'm on one. Favorite yeah. song of all time. What's your favorite song of all times, bro? Any artist? You know what, man? This is, this is a song that I, I used to just stay banging when I clean up, and I still do till this day. I got all the music though, you know. I play a lot of songs from like back then, but yeah. it's one song that always get me. I just can't stop. I can't stop rapping it or not. It's it's uh, it's with Drake and uh, Jay Z, and I think it's called um, Light Up. Mm. And as soon as I hear, I hear Drake. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm hearing Drake's, and I'm like, yeah, he's saying some shit. But when Jay Z come in, I can't help it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Cause Jay Z starts saying some shit, and you know he, you know one of his shit he say. Fuck bitches, niggas too. All I got is this money and it's a dude. 
You know what I mean? There's other parts when he like, uh, sorry mama, I promise it wouldn't change me, but I wouldn't be the same had I remained the same me. Mm. You know what I mean? And okay. then he going to say fuck niggas and yeah. bitches too. Yeah. All yeah. I got is this money and okay. this dude. So you know what I mean? I, I, his whole verse though be speaking to me. Yeah. Okay. I can never get over that song. Like that's one of those songs that's actually like always like hit me like, cause it's like it's relatable. Like that's kind of like the moves I had to make. You mm. know what I mean? So yeah, that's why I definitely like. And you know what they say? Everybody can't go. So shit. Sometimes yeah. you gotta cut motherfuckers when it ain't right. Yeah, man. man. Hell yeah. yeah. I, I, you, you don't know that song? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah I'm about man. to say. Nah, yeah, Maybe a little youngster. Nah, nah. <laughs> Come on, man. Nah, they doing that on that. Yeah. Hey, bro, nah. has it ever been a time you you wanted to quit doing music? What? Many times, man. Yeah. Many times, you know, cause he said what? We go hey. through ups and downs, yeah. bro. Like we go through a lot of ups and downs, man. And um, you we get we get those we get those moments where. For like nobody even listening, paying attention. We get well. Joe to, get that moment every day. Whenever we <laughs> get, I don't fuck with Joe talking about. Joe get that every day. Every day. Every day. Uh, Hell, he get it on the show sometime. We like yeah. ain't nobody paying attention to Joe. But, but take I, the shit off. I'm about to smoke. Tired of this uh, shit already. I ain't coming back to next week. Man, oh, man. <laughs> Boy, for real though. Man, bro. It happens, bro. But you know. I got other things that keep me motivated. Okay. Mm -hmm. Besides, because I, I always love music, so I try not to for, forget that I'm doing it for that. Nah, come Versus, on, man. like, money. Money will make you, like, feel like shit ain't happening. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? If but you're definitely. doing it for the money. Exactly. exactly. You're doing you it for the love what you do. You're doing it for yeah. you got, exactly. So, you feel me? Shit, I didn't lost that side a couple of times. You yeah. Know, not recently, but. No wonder I fucking yeah. hate being a janitor. Shit. Say focus, grasshopper. <laughs> you can clean those rooms. At least show your ass up tomorrow, motherfucker. I, I need help, motherfucker. <laughs> shit. We ain't off to Tuesday. Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> hey, man, I got to mention this shit, man. Joe done cleaned up the fucking day, man. Oh, Joe, shit. Joe, you looking pretty fucking presentable hey, today. Man. <laughs> yeah, man. Where the fuck, where the fuck is that, Joe? I had pancakes yesterday. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> shit. What kind of pancakes? We regular with it or... Man. Start by banana with some fucking, you know. Yeah, was, I don't know, motherfucker. Yeah, I didn't eat it. Up, he said man. with some you know. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, man. I, 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 <laughs> no, I didn't eat it. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I had a, I had an enjoyable <laughs> breakfast yesterday with an enjoyable person. I had breakfast. Man, well, at least man. we know you didn't have it alone, cause you are not enjoyable, motherfucker. I'm like, Joe, you <laughs> killing me. With an enjoyable I had a, person. Had an enjoyable. Oh, I don't know what you call it. Breakfast date. Okay. okay. I had a nice time. All right. So, so uh, up, my weekend was good. So that's why you cleaned up today. That's huh? why I cleaned up today. You feeling that man? Feeling well, myself a little bit. Whatever the fuck happened, I like it. <laughs> Shit, I don't want to see the dustiness in you until about about two weeks. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I got to we'll be here next week. No, 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 no. Look, hey, we are gonna you know, be off for two was, weeks, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Got you it. know, I, I I gotta make some moves, so we'll be Come back on, in two weeks. You know what I'm saying? So hey, y'all stay tuned. But today we got some shit going on for y'all today too. Yeah, Ooh, man, man. special. It, it's happening. Yeah. yeah, hey, you know I'm, I'm glad you drank your beer because I was afraid to drink mine. Why? <laughs> so I'm like, we live. I don't know if I should. Man, shit, hey. you better pick that motherfucker. Like, you gonna, gonna be thirsty too, in this bitch. <laughs> Cheers, mates. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Cheers, mates. Mm -hmm. Now, I had a question for you too, man. What's going on? What's a what's an artist right now that everybody like? Wait, what you say? Hey, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> What, what's an artist right now that everybody is into or admire that you probably ain't fucking with? You know what I'm saying? That, that you see everybody gravitating to is like, ah, I got a couple of my list, man. I ain't going to lie. Um, just a lot of them motherfuckers. It's a lot of them, bro. Mm. Man, let me name one that, that, that I feel. What's this dude name, man? Damn, I, I don't. That's how you know I don't really fuck with music. Mm. Like, that's why I don't fuck with. I don't even know his name. Yeah, well, I don't know his name, but I know um, his style. Man, is just like it's like you ever see those like you know you know how Looney Tune. I'm gonna say that shit sound Looney Tune. Like, really? But, yeah, but um, man, he, he got a he got a great follow. I gotta think of his name. That's Ooh. a good question. I, you should have prepped me for that. Hey, we should have flashed their ass right out. Be like, and we said it, motherfucker. Swear, man. Damn, I, damn I, I can look this nigga up. But, man, let me. I, damn, when I think his name, I'm going to say it. Come Don't on. worry, I ain't going to forget this question. I'm going to come back to it later Ooh, on in the show. Let's I'm get like, it. What are you talking about? I'm like, I, got, I got two let's for y'all, man. The little, right. the little Island Boy twins. 
Hey man, I heard I seen those motherfuckers is gay or what? Uh, I don't know what Who they cares? are. Yeah, yeah, but... Oh <laughs> shit! Boys. Who cares? You talking? About, did you see that shit though? No. I, think, I, I thought they were crazy. brothers. I thought it was yeah, exactly. Yeah, they they not? Something. I don't know. Nah, bro. I, I thought they, they were brothers. Yeah, they boyfriend and girlfriend. Bro, I think they just two. Nah, they they look like twins, bro. Oh, okay. Good. I don't so, know. It's weird, bro. But they yeah, still, I seen either that way, they look like that fucking doll, that fucking rug grab. What's your name? Cynthia. I had. Hey, yeah. They, bro. I got they three girls, some, so I know a rug right there. They on something different. <laughs> they on something to, to different. Each Definitely, bro. Hey, bro. I don't know what that is. Do you block. ever get writer's block? Mm. And how do you deal with it? <laughs> yep. I got writer's block right now trying to write this damn album. Really? You know what I mean? It's it's tough because I'm coming at it so differently. Like, I'm coming at it differently. I got, I got so many vibes, so... And it's like, damn. Okay, this gotta make sense. I can't, I can't make it just sound like, yeah. you know what I mean. I give y'all one of the song titles, man. Well, actually, I give y'all two. Bad and bougie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. That's gonna be dedicated to the, the love of my life. And then um, I got another one called. Um, two. I gave it two titles. So I don't know if I want to call it inner body experience, mm. or uh, if I was gonna go with like just like something inside me. Okay. Right. So it don't it sounds crazy, right? So it might be something creepy, but it's not. Yeah. It's not. It's mainly gonna it's gonna be about like um me have happen happening to be be like I can just just break out. Like mm. like you know what I mean? Like come out come out some of my old, you know some what I mean? Some hope, uh some incredible so hope every, type shit. Yeah. 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 Break, out of you so everything just, that's yeah. inside of me, you yeah. feel me, it's like I'm finna it's just it's like it's gonna be it's gonna be some unleashed. bars yeah. raised type shit and it's gonna be like cool though. It's it's not gonna be nothing like in your face scary like. Okay. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know which title yet, but okay. just know that that's gonna sound crazy. Mm -hmm. It's gonna it's gonna be blended. It's gonna be blended with three different genres. So okay. you gotta oh. keep listening to the song because it's gonna be all one track. Oh, okay. that's, so that's, that's gonna be some interesting. Yeah, you, you got me listen. curious as hell. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna like, be okay. it's gonna it's gonna it's basically gonna it's gonna be parts of every emotion. Like, okay. So that's why it's gonna be. Feel me I think he just cool. said that his music's gonna molest your ears. Basically, Joe, I don't know. Yeah. What's wrong with that? He said, basically, you're not gonna, you're not gonna know. You yeah, you're, just gonna have, you're just gonna have to listen. You're just gonna listen. It's gonna have you in tune. Like, like even if I was just like bad and bougie, just the yeah. song start off like it's gonna be some like quirky R and B shit. But then when it hit, when the beat drop, mm -hmm. you ain't gonna have no choice to just be like, oh yeah, shit, man. this okay. shit. Hard. Okay. Every I didn't I didn't showcase. You know, showed a couple of people, and they all like. That's the one. I can't but they ain't wait. Even heard the other ones. Come I on, can't I mean. wait, bro. So it's like y'all feel like that one. Then we playing one today, right? Yeah. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. feel me? Y'all hear that one? And then you gonna start picking up on like, okay, yeah. All I can't. Right. I want to go. Man. What, what 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 advice would you give some of these young cats trying to come up in the industry? Man. Uh, what advice would you give them on how to deal with the writer's block? Dealing with the writer's block. So. You know, a lot of us, you know, tend to cap stuff. That's okay. That's fine. But, like, you know, go get inspired by the stuff you're capping about. Man. Some movie, something like that. That's right? Real. But then there's those who, who want to tell, like, actual stories, and you have writer's block. Like, yeah. real tough writer's block because mm -hmm. you're trying to actually express, like, something that's really happening in your life. So, with that said, when you, when you have that writer's block, the only thing to do is to just sit back and really accept it, right? Okay. More so than trying to just write, oh, now nah, I should make it sound like this. Yeah. Just accept like what it is for what it is. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. You know what I mean? And just, okay. and just hey, go, go breathe on. and just try to hit it again. You can take some time away, but don't yeah. take too long because then, then you become a procrastinator. You won't finish it. Yeah, Man, I true. guarantee you, like you won't finish like nine times out of 10 type shit. Bro, have yeah. you ever had a song that was so difficult for you to write? Like maybe it was an emotional song or something like that. Maybe uh, a mm. dedication or something like that. Yeah. How did you actually get through it, or did you get through it and were able to actually record it? Man, so this is how I got through it. I started off writing it, right? Uh huh. So I started off writing it, and it's going. But I'm out get writer's block. So I'm like, damn, I'm trying. I'm sitting here with. The, I'm just sitting here with my phone actually. Mm -hmm. and I'm just like, damn, I can't. I can't fucking think of shit. Like, I'm trying so hard. I can't. I didn't try stepping away or whatnot. But yeah. I'm like, all right, let me mm -hmm. focus on this shit. So I got to do other shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I go, I call my girl. Yeah. What you doing? I'm being all cheesy and shit. Yeah. 
What's up, uh, Pooh Bear? What's your, what's your <laughs> big head at? You know what I mean? And you know, so I'm like, you know, I'm trying to find inspiration. So what should I do? I get the inspiration. Yeah. Then I go back into the booth. Okay. So instead, this time, instead of approaching it like I'm finna write it, I just freestyled it. Mm. You feel me? Good. Sometimes we just gotta express it right away off the top of the dome versus yeah. trying to put it on paper because we get caught up in trying to write the next line to make sense with the next line versus just like flowing it and being like, oh, we in the studio. I can always punch that shit in. Yes, you, you can. Get me? Yes, you so can. So that's how I got the song completed. And yeah. that song was Bad and Bougie. Hey, oh, come on. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was Bad I'm and looking bougie. forward to hearing that even more now. Yep, yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. that's, that's Which, super what, 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 what qualities do you think make a good artist? Uh, you gotta be, uh, what would I say, like self-discipline. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's one thing. Um, of course, self-discipline will come with, like, you gotta have the will to do it. You gotta really mm -hmm. want it, you know what I mean? Um, another one would be, you gotta be humble about the process. A lot of us get lost, too, when we kind of feel like we get there, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We get lost. So then we tend to start treating others a certain way, mm -hmm. and we forget how humble we were with the same people that came up with us. That you know, what I mean, it's because of this person or that person. Yeah, like. So you know, you got to basically stay humble. You know what I mean? stay <laughs> That's humble, real, bro. Stay humble, and then um, uh, love what you're doing. Man, hey, how good advice. You, how would that you is. describe your music? <laughs> I just told you, man. It's just listening to building. Now, I, I, uh, shit, man. My music is um. My music is universal. Okay. You know, uh, I can read so many demographics, so many ages. Gotcha. Feel me? So many states, so many countries. Okay. I got, I got island vibes. I mm. got, I got uh, from reggaeton to Afro to whatever you name that type of feel. Okay. I got, I got from rock music, so different rock like. I got like, not like metal, but yeah. like something similar, you know okay. what I mean? But with like a cleaner like style. You ain't got to worry about me going, rah, 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 rah. No, yeah. that crazy Talking shit. Like, like some of that Creed and fucking yeah. Stain yes. and stuff yes, like yes, that. Yes, 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 Nah. But, <laughs> but I got like, you know, R&B, pop, like all kind of stuff. So my music is universal. It'll reach, it'll reach a grandma. Type shit. Hey, but it depends on what kind of grandma it is. I don't see some grandma was dropping it like it's hot. Man. Hey, I got, <laughs> like, I got some stuff for the parties too. That's always gonna be. That's it. I gotta and have. I ain't even gonna My mother in law be out there. Put on some two pack. You got, you, you got some <laughs> um, music for grandma only fans too. Oh man. Ooh, who, wait, you want a grandma only fans? Yeah, Joe trying to get them <laughs> all. Talk about I'm trying that. to get them all. Like a Pokemon. <laughs> like Pokemon. <laughs> Joe like bowling. Line them up and I'm gonna knock them all out. <laughs> All the pins going down. Knocking down all of them. <laughs> hey, man, you never know what you're going to get here, man. Hey, man, y'all got any gripes of the week? Mm. Joe, anything happen to you this week, bro? All kinds of shit happened. I tell you. I just don't give a fuck. I tell you, right? Right? Yeah. Man, I was on my way out the door. Mm. Right? Actually, I did. I left. But I came back because I had to use the bathroom. Not take a dump. I had to use the bathroom. Right? <laughs> I had to clarify that. Yeah, right? Right? Come on. All right, so. I went in the house for like three minutes, bro. Uh huh. Came back out, my car gone. Whoa! No Stolen. shit. Stolen. Gone. Technically my fault. You know what I mean? I had the keys with me. Yeah. I left the car on. You know what I mean? Doing no a lot. Shit. Doing like everything. Push start. Yep. So I'm in a I'm in a trusted neighborhood. You feel? I just thought that it never happened. Yeah. So I ran in real quick. Came back out. I'm like, I heard a door. Yeah. No cap. That's what made me come out. Oh shit! Hell no! And I'm. Pressing, I don't hear it. I don't hear the. I'm like, ah. So I run outside. And I tell my girl, hey, I like, hey, the, the, the car gone. Wow. She like, what? She like, no, it ain't. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, you moved it. She like, no. I said, well, then the car is gone. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> like, the car is gone then. Damn. So you know, we get to, you know, you know, of course, we got to call the police. They track it or whatnot. But long story short, right? The the crazy part about it is, uh -huh. found a car. Okay. Right. After we found a car, no cap, probably like three weeks later, uh -huh. found my cell phone that was in a car, got, got got that back. How did you find that three weeks later? Damn. All right, it was like a month later. I swear to God, I got a call like, yo, I got a, I got a phone that says, call this number if y'all find this phone. 
Really? Ooh, I was like, holy shit, because I thought the phone was gone. I was yeah, like, come on, I had man. a new phone because my phone was in the car too. Yeah. You know, money. You know, he, whoever it was, got away with the money. I just sat in there. Oh my God, y'all understand how sad uh, I was. Man. It was a sad day. But you know, I ended up getting what was more valuable, like my phone, because I got a lot of contacts in there yeah. that I don't want to lose. Yeah. Okay. And you know, it was a lesson learned. I got to start uploading shit to iCloud. Then I got my car back, which I really need, cause I got I got kids. I got yeah. to school. You feel me? Mm -hmm. All kind of shit. I gotta go to work. You know, be, I got I got other you know real life duties. Come right. on, yeah, if I had a gripe, that motherfucker to top that motherfucker, boy. It's like God damn. And that shit was crazy, yo. Bro, bro. So I would have been disgusted. On, on, I just gotta ask. On that phone, did you have a lot of your lyrics? A lot of your everything. Your music? Hey. Oh shit! So it was. It, it was, was it was basically a part of you. Come on, man. It was new context. I just got like. Bunch of people, you know. Oh and, shit! You know, like a lot of, a lot of, man, just like pictures and videos that's that's cherishing, like you know that I know ain't on my iCloud, like my mm -hmm. album cover, all kind yeah. of. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for a minute, wow. my brother, my brother, rest in peace. His album cover was on there. I'm finna release his album, uh, come on, and okay. I couldn't get the cover. Oh and then, shit! Boom, got, got the call. Man. I was like, Woo. that's a blessing, bro. Yeah, for real, for like, real, it was a blessing, like, yeah. bro. So you know, I was able to finally like. Nice, back to moving. Nice. Now I can make these moves, these calls that I'm supposed okay. to. Cause everybody thinking I'm ignoring them and shit. Like nigga, my phone ah, got stolen. Come bro. on, man. Damn. Like damn, y'all understand? But yeah, that, that's a great for your yeah, ass. Yeah. Anybody else damn, got bro. one? At yeah. this point, I gotta True make story. some shit up to try <laughs> no. to make it sound like it was pretty I had good. all kinds True of story. gripes. I had all kinds of gripes this week. So I was talking about. I got pancakes yesterday, so I ain't fucking with nobody. <laughs> so, Joe Good. Hey, just nah, listen. I, gotta, had I a definitely got a gripe, man. Okay. Cause I'm thinking of yeah. what the fuck I gotta make up. <laughs> Just at the job, man. Hey, bro. Y'all skaters gotta chill, man. Every every <laughs> after every uh weekend, man. Skaters Monday mornings, chill. Tuesday morning, whatever the case may be. You got beer cans, beer half, uh, um, halfway. Yeah. But should, on the playground, you feel me? Like I should, I you know, should weed tell road, you. you know what I'm saying? Like joints. And you're shit. Like, you're in the bro, middle like, of Boyle tripping, Heights, man. Dude, yeah, when you're not there on the weekend, they probably have little fucking taco stands That's on the field. I, bro, they probably got come fucking. On, man. Nah, that you. Shit is crazy. Nah, yeah. I'm telling you. Tell hey, me, skaters. Y'all heard my boy, man. Give him a break. See, see at least you gotta worry about yourself. You Dude, gotta worry. At the very okay, least. I'm gonna go here. You gotta worry about skaters. We got to worry about dumbasses that don't fucking lock doors or close doors. Damn, bro, they bro. stole the tractor. They stole the school. green fucking diesel tractor with the forks. The one with the forks. How did they get that? They nah, broke nah, the see. bin. They was on campus every bit of 10 minutes. They knew exactly where they was going. They broke the lock on the bin. Not even the lock. They broke the metal off of it. Took the uh, the, tra the uh, tractor. Oh, yeah, they was gangsters. And rolled out. Damn. They gangsters. Only one that. camera caught them in the front of the school, and they... They knew it was and, like and what's, three Hispanics. what's crazy Are you serious? is they they, they they avoided the majority of the cameras. Damn, so they knew everything. They Somebody... went out the fucking front instead of going out the back. They went really? out the like between out the, the south wing and the main, that gate. Yo. They cut the lock and went out that way. <laughs> Yo, bro, and, and went up two fifty fourth. I pull up, what bro, and I'm like, where's the bin open? Yeah. So I'm like, something ain't right. I walk over no, there, it's missing the, the tractor. Yo. Hector pull up, I'm like, bro, y'all work overtime. He like, yeah. no, I said the tractor go. He was like, nah. I said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Elvis pull up. He like, where's the bin open? I'm like, y'all didn't open it? Damn. He's like, nah. Hey, they stole the tractor. He's like, nah. He go over there like, that book is gone. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy right there. That's gangster. I'm sorry. Bin, it was in the bin, <laughs> bro. Y'all deserve that for not Yo. taking care of y'all track now. Bro. Man, that's it was crazy. locked up. <laughs> Damn. Oh, but you know what? But you know what? That's why it was a how piece of shit. How nobody see them riding out with a tractor? Really? How nobody? Yeah. Yeah. And he's nosy like neighbors. Like a car, like hey, he took now, a whole truck. And we in the middle of fucking really Lomita. Though. Really on, though. On the flip yeah. side, on, <laughs> it was a piece of crap though. So when they go to try to lift something, they go like this is good. Yeah. They might bring it back, but it was brand new. We never really used it. But mm. the fact that they went to that one bin, they was in and the school knew. for every minute, 10 minutes. Yeah, somebody uh, had something to the say. The camera, so they was there for yeah. 10 minutes, bro. Because there's no they way that exactly they could have just knew going. where it was. You know what I'm saying? Somebody had to have been speaking on that. Like, Facts. yeah, that's crazy, bro. Facts. Bro, bro. that sound planned. Bro. Yeah. Inside wait a minute, job. wait a minute, bro. That sound like they was. And we found fucking doors unlocked to some of the buildings. In that the, same day. That oh, same so they didn't go in the school and mess day. up. They just, they just went, went straight, straight there. to the bin. Hell, at school program. Somebody left the, it open. The girls' restroom open every day to where you can come into the West Wing. Ain't yeah, nobody coming into the school. Yeah. They went straight to that bin, stole that, and took off. Somebody crazy, did that intentionally. Bro. Yeah. That was an inside job. It was yeah. an inside yeah. job. Let's go down like that. Hey, they, they, it they was PP Boy. PP Boy. 
I take that back. Hey, hey, Prince, man, before we get... Uh, my bad, man. It, it's a habit. Just listening. Yeah, to just hey, listening. Bro, you want to tell them where they can find you at again before we get up out of here, bro? Oh, yeah, find me on social media at Just Listen. That's J-S-T-L-S-Z-N. I used to be formerly known. Well, used to be not formally known, but formerly known as Just Listen. But I used to be Prince Casanova, man. So you can even just Google them same names, and it's going to yeah. be the same person, I promise you. And you said you got projects coming out when again? Yeah, I got uh, a Halloween project, of course, coming out in October. Uh -huh. And then after that, I got Me versus Me. That's going to be coming out in November. Depending on... On what? How well it's orchestrated. You know, orchestrated. Okay. You feel me? Right. De depending on how well it's orchestrated and put together with all the, you know what I mean, everything. Now, what about videos? You got any videos coming so out? So, all that. Okay. So, all that. I'm not releasing neither one of the nothing until I do one of these videos. Okay. Come on. You know what Let's I mean? To, well, you know, if you ever need some help, I'll help you out. Oh, yeah, hey. say less. Come on, man. Make sure y'all zoom in on his face, too. Yeah, So, y'all remember he said that. He man. said, man, bro. No, nah, he already got it's it right here. It's already got it. It's in there. I already you got can it. replay this all if, day long. Yeah, He's if, like, hey, man. If you ever need help with filming, <laughs> editing, whatever, and Come if on. I can help you, I'll help you. Yes, sir. Hey, I go. Not. Also, you got a huge show easy. coming up, bro. You mm -hmm. want to tell them about that, that show Oh, yeah. Again? Oh, yeah. So, uh, July 29th, y'all should come up to the uh, SELA, which stands for Southeast LA. Uh, Arts Festival, that's July 29th. It starts at 3 p.m. Be there, turning up. I don't know exactly what time I'm going to go on yet, so I can't give y'all that information. But I will be there performing live as Just Listen, performing a couple songs off the album called Me Vs. Me. So if y'all okay. want to hear it early, you know, you want to hear a little bit of it early, this is the time to do it. July 29th at the Southeast L.A. Arts Festival. Hey, maybe okay. I might show up. It's my birthday weekend. Happy early hey, birthday. Come on, man. Joe, don't nobody care. <laughs> man, I wish I could just slap you with a pancake from here. Damn, but you know, them, they did sound good. Yeah, I was going to ask you who was that other person, hungry. but it's okay. Hey, man. Hey, don't come you in. You didn't mention here, that. You don't come in here and make motherfuckers hungry. You're talking about man, pancakes. Man, man though. Did it up real quick, man. man. Hey, I'm man. Hungry, Let's just say TGIF. TGIF. Well, the God. fuck, it ain't Friday. It's not. I just thought about that. Yeah, you about to repeat it like it ain't Friday. Hold on. Fuck now he knows what you. I mean. Fuck around with Joe. Hey, man. Hey, on that note, man, we about to get up out of here. Hey, yo, but please stick around. We got something special going on today. Hey, just listen. You want to give a shout out to anybody before we get up out of here, bro? Yeah, man. Let me shout out Encore J. Rest in peace, John Dilly. The whole get a bag. You feel me? Twin, all y'all. You feel me? Hush, all y'all. Man, y'all know who it is. It's too many of y'all for me to name, but I'm going to name a couple for sure. But just know I love y'all, man. Ploopy, nasty, all y'all, man. Shout out to the squad. Shout out to everybody. One love. Hey, man, we can't wait to have you back in here. When you get close to dropping these projects, we want you to come back in here, premiere something, maybe bring a video or something, and let's get, let's get cracking oh, up in here, man. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, hell yeah. Definitely. Hey, man, it's always a pleasure having you in the building, bro. Thank you for coming through Appreciate again. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, man. man. Bisky Radio, man. Yo, hot, one of the hottest fucking podcasts, you feel me? And we funny, I swear to God. It was funny. It was funny as hell. Hey, man, we're going to clown every chance we get, man. Yeah. But on that note, man, hey, y'all yo, want to... Wait. What? Don't forget, every Sunday, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. On Big Ski Radio on Live365.com. Joe, did we load one up first? Did we load it? Usually on Sundays, we have a, a show. That's what I'm Come talking about. Put the usually on there, Joe. But Clean it up. Usually, just in case usually. I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> but don't forget, we got the Dusty Joe kickback out. Ow. That well, ain't a mess up. We got that. Well, yeah, we, sure. we, we play the best of some nice cruiser music, oldies. You know, something you can cruise to, something you can hang out with your girl with. And then we play that for two hours. Uh -huh. After that, we've got some old school Latino hip hop. Is that right? Yeah. Don't okay. forget to check it out. Like I said, Big Ski Entertainment. Big yeah. Ski Radio on Live 365. Yeah, hey, man. man. It's a hell of a Sunday. But we got other shows on there, too, man. So y'all tap in every night. It's playing music every day. It's playing music right now as we speak. It's just like any other radio station with less commercials. So y'all tap in. Oh, Big God. Ski You radio. can find all the information yeah. at www.anythinggoeslive. Anything goes CPT live. Hey, Ray, anybody you want to give a shout-out to before we get out of here? Man, just shout-out to the fam, man. Shout-out to Twan, man, front page. Rest in peace. That's about it, man. Yeah. Just listen in the building, yes, and we yes, out. Sir. Hey, y'all enjoy y'all weekend, man. Yes, sir. Because I am. Come on. <laughs> Peace.